Hi folks, welcome to a new episode. I got this from automesa.de. This is an awesome knife. So that's why we're here. Test it and show it to you. Stay tuned. Today we want to make a field test. Well, I think all of you knows the company called Kaibar. Kaibar is producing knives since a long, long time now, and the most popular model is the USMC knife. Well, this is not exactly the USMC knife. Well, it is, but the modern version of it. And tell you what, I really fell in love with this one. Amazing, amazing, amazing. It looks so beautiful and it feels so good in your hand. The fit and finish in it is awesome. You have a 7 inch blade made out of 1095 carbon steel and this carbon steel blade has this non-reflective black coating on it which also helps preventing it against rust the handle is made out of Krayton which is a hard plastic but it feels very rubbery in your hand so you have a good feel good grip can't slip off this handle even with wet hands you have this finger guard here which protects your fingers when you're stabbing it or yeah when you do hard work so that your fingers don't slip off to the sharp blade and tell you what this blade is really sharp I mean this comes razor sharp out of the box no joke razor sharp out of the box I can't remember but there were just a few knives that come razor sharp out of the box. This is one of it. Awesome job, K bar. So you can see it's full tang, so the tang is going all the way through and is pinned with this back pommel here, which is also made out of 1095 high carbon steel. You can smack it, whatever. The pin is a stainless steel pin which holds everything together and you have this nice little buoy shape of the blade on the knife it says K-Bar Olean New York USA and the model number is 1211 nice nice little blade great 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 but let's take a closer look on the sheath well, the sheath is beautiful. It looks like Kydex has a slight texture to it. To make and see. Drainage hole there. Some slots for, for example, some leg straps. You have four hardly pinned, riveted, um, very secure. This belt loop here which is riveted pinned on there and take a look at this action here you can see it's a little bit bendy and that's very important because you can see this hilt right there let me show you knife goes in the sheath now has to pass this hilt Click. Awesome. Now it stays in there no matter how hard you pull. 
to get it out just push your thumb push with your thumb this down and you can easily draw the knife it's absolute ambidextrous so you can put the knife in either way inside the sheath oh yeah I love this sheath also this strap over the handle gives it extra security but you can also twist it turn it around as it swivels you can see just swivel it 180 degrees and snap it from the other side it's good for lefties oh man I love this blade this is a foliage green color looks a little bit grayish with a slight green in it but looks awesome but now let's see what the blade can do Even with carving a tent pack, this knife performs really, really good. And the built in hammer, hammer on the back side, is working really nicely.
let's see what this utility fighting knife can do with some feather sticking. Let's try another one. Well, as you can see, the curls are beautiful and they are th thin enough to take a spark. The only problem I see so far with this blade is that the spine is not 90 degree, so I think you can't strike a ferrocium rod with the spine right now. You have to modify it by simply square the spine off with a file to get it in a 90 degree shape so it will strike a ferrocium rod very easy but in this way no chance well all in all I have to say I really love this blade a 7 inch fighter utility whatever looks awesome very tactical very military um, but it's also known to quite quite a lot of people the design hasn't changed that much from since to now and the modern aspect of this blade the rubberized craton handle and this very functional awesome sheath are just gorgeous they are, they are gorgeous really great great job Kabar the blade steel itself is good not the newest not the best steel in the world but well for the purpose it's a good steel it's easy to sharpen in the field yes it can rust but don't matter that much because well this is a utility blade that you have to use not just put in your yeah home and leave it there you have to use this blade so I don't care this is a great knife have no issues with it it works fine in all the tasks from carving a tent pack hammer it into the ground Splitting, feather sticking, batoning, it works just great. I've seen some guys on YouTube destroying this blade. Well, of course I can destroy any blade, but this sucker here, yeah, you can if you want, but for every task that you give the knife that it should do should perform you do of course you won't whack it with a, a log like this when batoning or split a, a log six and a half inch with this that's not built for this this is a knife and as a knife <laughs> it's awesome really what a beautiful knife I can tell you thanks for watching see you next time bye